Hello there, it's Jeff here in the Idea Lab, and today I'm gonna to be showing you how to put together your jellyfish kit uh, for the 3D printed mechanical jellyfish. Uh, so you're gonna have a bunch of parts in your bag. Uh, we've got a big black plastic base and a lid for the base. Um, we've got a dome for our jellyfish. This is sort of the top of the jellyfish. Now your dome may have a thin plastic ring running around the outside. That's part of the printing process. You can just tear that off. Uh, I've already torn the uh, ring off of mine. Um, you're gonna have this sort of milky clear plastic kind of potato masher looking thing. We've got our hub here. Very intricate looking mechanical part there. Couple of white plastic gears. You're gonna have a, a little crank and a little handle for the crank. An axle. A retaining ring like this. A whole bunch of pink and white gears. Now the white gears, we're gonna call those our internal gears, and all the pink gears are our external gears. Uh, we've got one yellow gear. This is the center gear. And then we have a bunch of tentacles. Our little pink tentacles. Now the tentacles are not identical. Some tentacles curl clockwise and some tentacles curl counterclockwise. Um, so you can tell because the identical tentacles, that's a fun rhyme, see how I'm able to get those to line up like this? If I hold them together they line up. So those are identical. So this one and this one they match. This one, not able to get it to line up properly. In fact, it's sort of the mirror image, right? So we're gonna go through and we're gonna separate these so that we have uh, two matching piles. One pile's gonna have four uh, tentacles and the rest is gonna have uh, eight tentacles. So let's go through and create our piles here. So, just matching these up, oh, looks like those are a match, that's a match. match, not a match, so the rest of these should be not a matches. So we've got our four, these are going to be our internal tentacles, and then we've got our eight external tentacles. And we're going to keep those separate from each other. We want our internals in one pile and our externals in another pile. So next up, we're gonna grab our potato masher looking piece here. And we're gonna start with our white gears and our internal tentacles. So we've got our internal gears, four of those, and four internal tentacles. So you see how this thing has holes these four holes on the inside and eight holes on the outside. So with the potato masher in this orientation, we're gonna place a gear on top and you see how the sort of lip of this gear fits right into the hole like this. Then our internal tentacle just screws on like this. Now, kind of like the 
top piece. Yours might have a brim around it, which you can tear off. Your tentacles might have a little brim on them. You can tear that off too. You want your tentacles to be brimless for this operation. So here we've got one internal tentacle. So these four white gears are going to go into the four internal holes here with the four tentacles attached. But we're gonna start with just three of them. So we attach these in threes. So starting with three, just like this. This is gonna give us the opportunity to drop in our yellow central gear. Now I believe this will only really go in one way and that is with this sort of rounded triangle shape we want that facing down. So our tiny little hole, we want that facing up. And that's just gonna pop in right there and interface with those other gears. See how nicely that works. Now to trap that yellow gear in place, we're gonna put in our final white gear like this and our final internal tentacle. Just like that. So you see how those all now interface. Next up are internal tentacles and our pink internal gears. We're gonna do the same thing, except we're gonna put these in the, I'm sorry, <clears throat> external tentacles, external gears. Those are gonna go on the holes around the outside, the external holes. So, gear. tentacle, just like that, and we continue the process for the external tentacles. Lovely 3D printed screw threads here. Really nice, easy fit. You don't need them to be very tight, just finger tight. Because these are herringbone gears, they're sort of captured by each other. You can see that sort of herringbone pattern there. And this makes it so once all the gears are interfaced properly with each other, they won't lift out. They sort of lock themselves in place. And you end up with this whole tentacle assembly. Pretty cool, right? Now that we have our tentacle assembly complete, we're going to grab the dome and the base piece. And these will interface with each other. You can see there's these little four ridges here and then a series of ridges running around the outside. It doesn't really matter how this goes in as long as some of these interface with those ridges down there. You'll feel it drop into place just like that. Now this whole assembly, we can see there's little tabs running around the outside here and little tabs, four of them, running there. So we just line up those tabs, press that into place like that, and that hub holds everything just like that. Then our retaining ring, this little guy here, you see how we've got two sides. One's got little notches in, the other is notchless. So the uh, notched side up is gonna slip right down over top of the whole tentacle assembly. And then we're just gonna carefully, gently, we don't wanna press down too hard. Gonna rotate this like this, just a little bit. That ought to be it. That retaining ring is gonna hold our uh, potato masher, our whole tentacle assembly, up inside the dome there. 
now that our uh, upper jellyfish assembly is complete, we're going to take a look at our remaining parts here. So we have our base and base lid, We've got our large and small gears, our crank, our crank handle, a little white plastic retaining clip. Now, if you're having trouble finding this retaining clip, it's probably in the bottom of your bag. It probably slipped under one of the little folds in the bottom of the brown paper bag. That happened to me, and I was like, where's my clip? It was hiding in the flaps on the inside of the paper bag. So check there. And we've got our axle glass piece. So the smaller of the two gears drops right into that little opening there. And the axle side of our crank is going to press right into that gear, like this. Our retaining clip is going to set right on top of our gear, and we're going to use something pokey. I've got a little pokey tool here, and just click that right down in place. That's uh, holding our crank in place and our crank handle, just press right onto the end there. Our inner gear is gonna sit right there, and we're gonna go ahead and just gently screw this in place. Don't press down too hard or the screw threads will kind of seize up. So we're just gonna gently screw that in. There we go. So that's our whole base assembly taken care of. Now this axle here is gonna press right up into the center of our potato masher and interface with that yellow gear that's inside. And we can see how when we turn that, the tentacles wiggle. Cool, right? So this will just press right down into the base and screw on like that. And there we have our super wiggly and cute 3D printed mechanical jellyfish. I hope you enjoyed putting this kit together as much as I did. I really love all the gears and the moving parts, and I really love how the, what they call the barber pole illusion is what causes these tentacles to appear that they're kind of squirming around. Very cool design. Uh, very happy to have had the chance to print this for all of you. So enjoy!